Hello, and welcome to another ADLC digital lesson. Today, our lesson is on reversible and irreversible changes. Liquid water can be changed into gas by heating it up so that it evaporates. This change is reversible because we can cool the steam back down so that it condenses back into water. Evaporation and condensation are reversible changes because we get back the original material that we started with. Similarly, freezing and melting are also reversible changes. If we cool liquid water down below zero degrees Celsius, it freezes into solid ice. By raising the temperature above zero, the ice melts to form liquid water again. If you mix salt with water, it will dissolve to form a salt solution. Dissolving is a reversible change because the water and salt can easily be separated by evaporating the water from the salt solution, leaving the crystalline salt behind. The evaporated water can be collected as well. When other materials are mixed together, changes can happen that are difficult to reverse. For example, if cement is mixed with water, it sets permanently into solid concrete. Concrete doesn't melt like ice, and the water cannot be evaporated to get back the cement. So this is an irreversible change. If you mix baking soda with vinegar, it produces bubbles of carbon dioxide gas. The fact that a new material has been produced is good evidence that it is an irreversible change. Burning is yet another irreversible change. We burn materials such as oil, coal, wood, and gas to get heat and energy. But at the same time, new materials such as ash, carbon dioxide, and other potentially harmful gases are produced. It is nearly impossible to get back the original things burned from these new materials. So burning is a very good example of irreversible change.